There are some remarkable creatures on this planet, but despite their overlooked majesty, bulls and cattle are some of the most vital and varied species of all. From delectable meats that would require a loan to purchase, to the most adaptable and ancient of all cattle species, here are 15 of the most unique bulls in the world. Cherelet bull. When it comes to evolutionary convergence between species, few species are so closely tied into human society as cattle, both cow and bull. Of all the bulls, none more so than the Cherelet. The species is famous for growing fast, providing above average yields in both quantity and quality, and stands out as one of the highest for hardiest breeds. All these qualities make the Cherelet one of the most cherished and sought after specimens. To say the least, this cow revolutionized modern society, more specifically the beef industry. It was first found throughout Great Britain and later made its way to the U.S. Today, the U.S. Cherelet are some of the more intimidating, muscled cows on earth. They boast proud, confident egos, so if you manage to spook or enrage one, it will most likely charge without warning. Remarkably, it doesn't show this same aggression towards its human caretakers, showing a level of intelligence higher than first imagined. They're very territorial, so farmers love to have them around for that reason alone. Who needs a guard dog when you have a two-ton bull patrolling the perimeter? Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Lazy Jay's Bluegrass The Texas Longhorn Bull is as American-raised as they come. In that same sense, Lazy Jay's Bluegrass is the top of her species in that same category. Texas Longhorns are famous for well, many things, but most obviously, they're longhorns. None have ever grown longer than Lazy J, and the record set the bar high. Thanks once again to evolutionary convergence, cattle have become reliant on humans for survival. All but the longhorn, that is. Its hardiness and power make it one of the most iconic symbols of cattle anywhere throughout the globe. Their adaptability to their surroundings and circumstances make them easily a favorite. If man had intruded on this species any sooner, as well as all other cattle, it wouldn't be the iconic beast as it stands today. Its horns are easily the most identifiable. The many unique characteristics help it stand out amongst its cattle cousins. Each and everyone's coloring and horns are the equivalents of a human thumbprint. During most of its youth, its horns span on average four feet from tip to tip. As it moves from youth to adolescence, its horns can stretch to an incredible nine feet long. Unique to the Longhorn is the natural resistance to the infamous cattle killer, the screw worm. While thousands of cousins in this species died off in the cattle pandemic, this proud bull was utterly unaffected. Suppose the parasite somehow made it past the natural resistances. In that case, it knows just how high it needs to stand in water to drown and suffocate the infections residing within, effectively healing itself of the parasite. It's no wonder this breed has transformed into the symbol of the old, rugged West. <laughs> Lurch, the Ancoli Watusi. There are an estimated 800 types of cow species, with one and a half billion cows alive at any given time on Earth. Of them all, Lurch holds the record for the largest horns. Whereas the Longhorn holds the record for the longest, Lurch holds the record for the most mass. With this distinction, you can see why the records were forced to be separated. Lurch's horns don't even look like they belong on the side of her head. The Ancoli Watusi is a beautiful and majestic creature. It stands as one of the only cows with horns in the bovine cattle family. The animal's impressive strength allows it to stand tall, even with the added weight. Still, the years eventually weighed on her, quite literally. The display exemplifies the Ancoli temperament, proud and strong and resilient. Ranging in color from light browns and tans to solid blacks, they're often crossbred with many well-known breeds, such as the notable Longhorn, to help develop their hardiness and immunities going forward. While many are impressed with new breeds to emerge from this mingling, others believe it's led to the pollution of the pure Ancoli Watusi bloodline from Africa. The only real premium cut of Ancoli must be from one of these premium farms in Africa. Otherwise, it's just similar cut, mixed Ancoli piece of meat no matter what the sign says, 
Because the original species is near extinction, the Ancoli Watusi was marked protected and remained in the capable hands of independent farms already working with the species for generations. They know how to cultivate a habitable, thriving environment for the cherished creature. <laughs> Bushwhacker Bushwhacker is a superstar among bucking bulls. As you might have guessed, a bucking bull is a show bull ridden in attempts to buck the rider off its back. Bushwhacker is retiring as a champion, having been ridden for the least amount of time and thrown off the most riders. The 1,750-pound bull has a considerable change of lifestyle coming around the corner. Still, owner Julio Moreno plans to treat him well at his ranch in Oakdale, California. The famed bull holds the record of a consecutive 42 buck-offs. He was conquered for the first time by J.B. Mawney. Speaking about how amazing Bushwhacker is, the livestock director of the PBR said Bushwhacker is the best there's ever been. He really took the sport to heart and practiced with dedicated intent unlike any other bull ever seen. Well, it just proves perfect practice makes perfect execution. The record-holding bull is retired at 8 years old, while many typically compete until they're 10 or 12. The reason for this diversion from tradition is for appreciation for the bull's career. The owner says he's had a long and fruitful career and he deserves an early retirement. Mm -hmm. Sultan the Bull Both cows and bulls are cherished in India. One bull in particular stands out from the rest and is considered the most valuable bull in the country. How do you go about earning such a prestigious title in an already competitively prestigious arena? Sultan, the huge eight-year-old bull who stands over six feet tall and weighs over a ton, is a humongous beast whose seed is in high demand around the globe because of his impressive size, yield, and bloodline. Its owners earn around $10 million every year by selling his semen to those who want offspring like this mighty Sultan. Because of his majesty, he's pampered by his caretakers in numerous ways. For example, he's awarded a daily dose of high-quality whiskey, and he loves it. The bull, which is estimated to be worth around $210 million, loves to drink every day in the evening and at the will of his owners. They say a bull like of this renown deserves to live a long and happy life, just as it has for the family. One glass of whiskey a day seems to help him do even better throughout the day, so the family sees no harm in the practice. In addition to massages, delicious gourmet meals, and daily baths, this bull lives a life not often found in human society, let alone the animal kingdom. <laughs> Humphrey, the world's shortest bull. There are records for the largest and tallest. There must certainly be the opposite, the shortest or the smallest. Humphrey, the world's shortest bull, currently holds the record and measures in at a mere 26.6 inches tall. That's shorter than a typical human on their knees. When people think of bulls, they certainly don't think of this tiny little beast. A veterinarian officially measured Humphrey at one and a half inches shorter than the previous record holder, a California bull named Chegg's Golden Boy. The species is that of a miniature zebu bull, whose species never grows very big, but rarely this little. He broke the record at five years old when he was considered fully grown. After the family had purchased him, they discovered he wasn't a calf, but a fully grown three-year-old miniature zebu bull. While it wasn't what they wanted, they claimed to have fallen instantly in love with the adorable creature and he to them. He patrols about the fields with little regard to his size compared to the rest of the family cattle. He still has that iconic bull mentality and his size is deceptive when it comes to his power. The Holy Brahmin Bull When it comes to any species of bull, the Brahmin are some of the more famous and massive. Resistant to disease, infection, adaptable to extreme weather, and can defend themselves and their territory like they were trained in the art, Brahmins boast the most incredible traits that people want to find within their cattle. One word that sums up the Brahmin is adaptable. As Darwin said, the most adaptable survive. The Brahmin is the testament. To India's millions of Hindus, the regal animal is holy and cannot be harmed. That makes it challenging to maintain large herds of cattle when the hardiest breed can't be utilized for what it does best. The issue is an ongoing discussion in India where cow slaughterers are considered poachers. Despite their cherished status, Brahmins are not native to India and are treated as a delicacy in some countries and as a feast of all sorts in others. If you live in the United States, you may have seen the Brahmin meat at restaurants in the form of Brangus, meat from a species of Angus and Brahmin crossbred from what's said to be an even hardier version of both. 
All in all, the Brahmin cow stands as one of humanity's most extended-lived relationships and is talked about as far back as cave art. <laughs> Kianina This incredible Italian-bred bull holds the title as the largest in the world. Predominantly raised for their exquisite beef, these grandiose bulls are the oldest and most cherished in all the land. That's saying something when considering the number of bulls in existence. Thanks partly to their incredible size, motherly temperament, and hardiness against disease, the Kianina is on another level. The all-white bull is famed as consistently being the most giant breed of cattle. Even its offspring grow to massive sizes. It isn't just a one-off. Some argue that its most unique characteristics in its muscle tone despite its imposing size, with long legs, bulging muscles, and a threatening height, this bull is one of a few specimens on Earth that you have to see to believe. A picture, a video, a description will never capture the majesty these bulls portray. The species has an unrivaled per individual meat to fat ratio compared with the rest of the bull cousins. Because of its remarkable traits, it's a popular choice for crossbreeding with females that produce smaller calves to increase the size of their calf. Pure Kianina beef is rare, and even if you do find it, it'll cost you. <laughs> Rouge de Pre. These dual-purpose cattle are of French origin and helped mold the landscape of the modern-day agricultural industry. Known as the Maine Anjou cattle, these impressive species offer some of the best meat and milk of them all. Typically, a cow is useful for either its milk or its meat. In these rare specimens, you can get the best of both worlds. This is a large breed of cattle originating from France. Today, the animal is used for milk, cheese, and meat. In the past, these mighty creatures were utilized as draft cattle. A draft animal is any domesticated animal used in pulling heavy loads for humans. The species as we know it today is a chimera of sorts. It's all different species of bull combined into one. The first was bred in 1908 when an old farmer was forced to crossbreed his cows or starve. The results for the farmer were astounding and propelled this animal into legendary status. An unexpected circumstance can often lead to fruitful results. The man and Jew has been a prized and beloved cow in France ever since. Santa Gertrudis The Santa Gertrudis is an enormous bull bred from the abundant and locally found shorthorn, crossed with the massive Brahmin bull. Its name originates after the land for which the cattle was first bred. They're unique, Red tinted coat makes them easy to spot in a crowd. The species can be both horned and hornless, a unique characteristic among all bulls. What determines whether they get horns or not is still undetermined. Both females and males can grow horns, so that theory is out the window. If you were to think of a traditional American beef, this animal crossbreed would be the definition. They're easy to breed, hardy in all forms of weather, eat a pure grass diet found in their Texas home, and still manage to grow to enormous sizes. It's no wonder farmers had herds in the thousands. In their early breeding stages, they're bred to survive the harsh conditions that they'd face in this new American landscape. After its hardiness became a transferable DNA trait to its young, the focus of breeding switched from survivability to profitability, bringing rise to the new great American meat market. Belgian Blue Who knew there were so many different types of bulls and more to come as crossbreeding continues? The variety and industry are so huge at this point that there are apps available to help identify, keep in compliance, and register any new addition to your herd with just a few taps. Yeah, there's an app for that. As its namesake suggests, the Belgian Blue bull originates from Belgium and the blue is for the blue sheen that dances across its coat in certain lights. This amazing bull is revered for its well-muscled build and docile temperament. These bulls can even be considered meatheads. Just look at those ripped muscles. In fact, this is one of the few species on Earth that can get so buff they develop double muscles. Scientifically, it means that muscles form on top and in conjunction with the original muscle. Cattle like this can become so muscled that it appears as fat. On average, a cattle breed of a similar size would weigh around 2,182 pounds. The enormous Belgian Blue, on average, weighs around 2,755 pounds when compared to the same age, size, and sex. Because muscle weighs more than fat, these monsters pack on the pounds. The Prestigious Limousine the limousine cattle is believed to be one of the oldest cattle breeds on the planet. Its ancestors date back farther than human recorded history. That alone stands as a testament to the incredible evolutionary hardiness and adaptability of this remarkable breed. 
Basically, cave people may be the first to ever consume these beasts. That isn't to say they haven't changed over the years, but its DNA traces that far back. The images of the iconic limousine coloring adorn many a cave wall of ancient civilization. It seems our ancestors relied on the animal as much as we do to this day even going as far as to use their skins as clothes and tapestry. The limousine cow is regarded as one of the best meats worldwide if you can find and afford it. Even up against contenders such as Kobe or Wagyu beef, the limousine holds its own unique flavors. Meat from limousine cattle is held in high regards globally. Its rarity and cost of shipping reflect that fact. In addition to the high quality of meat, their carcass can be harvested up to 80% of usable materials. That's more than any other species of cattle. One specimen of limousine can yield almost that of two or more common cattle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scottish Highland Bulls As their name suggests, Scottish Highland Bulls originated in the highlands and west coastal islands of Scotland. These areas are notorious for severe climate and are consistently struck by North Atlantic winds. Throughout the rich history of the highlands, breeders have paid great attention to retaining the original characteristics of these vital cattle. Initially, the breed was divided into two classes, the West Highlands, or Kylo, and the Highlander. No, not that Highlander. The Kylos, raised on the Western Islands, tended to be smaller in size and sported a different color than the mainland Highlanders. Researchers believe the vast differences in size are due to the severe climate and limited rations the island cattle were forced to adapt. It was just recently that experts reclassified both species into one called the Highland cattle. Thanks for making it a little easier on the rest of the world. Thanks to their adaptability to the severe climate, these bulls have the remarkable ability to graze where there's seemingly no food source. When there is food to be found, the Highland can sniff it out. The Weird Bassadays Bull As you've seen from this list, cows are beloved for reasons ranging from calving, consumer products, to hardiness. The Bassadays is one of the few that checks all the boxes above and is excellent for breeding others. It boasts such qualities as hardiness, a protective coat to ward off insects and disease, and is extremely intelligent. They grow as fast as some of the mass-produced breeds and can calve like the best moms out there. All in all, they're jacks of all trades. They're gentle and generally easy-going creatures that are more affectionate than any other in the species. Farmers often find these guys engaged in big cuddle sessions in an open field. Their affectionate nature makes this cow a social cow, and it will not thrive if it doesn't have a herd to socialize with. The meat is considered acceptable, but it's typically bred with bulls that are ill-tempered to reduce their aggression. Because their meat isn't as high in demand, this cow can be found on dairy farms where the even temperament and social requirements can be better accommodated. The Jersey Bull Did you know that milk cows are typically more dangerous than beef cows? Could the fact a cow has to be pregnant to give milk be the reason? Researchers suspect so. Of all the milk-producing cattle, there's none better than the Jersey Bull. The tiny British breed is one of three in the British Channel Islands. Despite their lower numbers, they're highly productive. One milk cow can give over 10 times their own weight in milk per lactation. That makes this cattle unique amongst all others in the world. It adapts well to various climates and environments. Unlike many breeds originating in temperate climates, it can take the heat with minor issues as well. According to experts, the breed descended from cattle stock brought over from the normal mainland. For 200 years, the species remained isolated from outside influence. Who knew there were so many different types of bulls and for so many different purposes? It makes sense, seeing that all animals adapt to their environment accordingly. The long and rich history of breeding and work relations between man and bull have made both species evolutionary convergent and reliant on one another. Bulls need humans to survive, and humans need bulls, at least for the time being. If all the bulls and cattle disappeared today, Mm-hmm. <laughs>